welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Hannah Rose Cooley and today I'm going to be bringing you a yoga flow that is for when you're on your period because funnily enough, pretty much most women have a period every single month and I'm currently online and it just felt like a really relevant video to do. It's going to be a crossover, sometimes, of, um, sorry I'm such a geek, um, <laughs> a crossover of restorative and vinyasa. So for those of you who are not familiar with the terms, vinyasa means moving with the breath. So usually in vinyasa yoga you like inhale, come up with high press lunge, exhale, come down for example. But the whole premise of vinyasa is literally just to move with the breath. And then restorative is um, you're just allowing your body to relax. So we're going to do a bit of a crossover in that there'll be definitely some relaxation postures where you can literally just fall back into your mat. But there'll also be a little bit of a vinyasa element. Sorry, what's going on my head? Um, where we'll use that breath to enable us to feel a little calmer. So just a little preface before we go into this. I'm not going to edit that out. Um, just a little preface, when we're on our periods, when we're in that menstrual part of the cycle, so the menstrual phase, um, our sex hormones, estrogen and progesterone are at their lowest, okay? And that can really mess with your mood, it can mess with the amount of energy that you have, it can change the way that your brain functions, that's where everything feels a little bit more lethargic when you're on your period. And so we're just going to roll with that. We're not going to do anything that's too crazy. We're going to keep our energy nice and settled and then just honour kind of this time in our bodies where our womb is shedding its lining. Um, and also, I'll be giving you a little bit of information just like that um, about periods because I just feel like we don't know enough about them. Um, so yeah, what you're going to need clockwise is your mat or you can even just lie on your carpet if you feel comfortable doing that. We're not going to be doing anything crazy. If you have a bolster, fantastic, use your bolster. If you don't, then just get a couple of cushions. In fact, get some pillows, that'll be quite nice. Um, if you have bricks, again, awesome, use them. If not, cushions will do, or um, anything that you feel comfortable at putting your body on as a support. And then also get yourself at least one blanket, maybe two, depending on temperature where you are right now. It's super hot in London at the moment, but um, I've got the ventilation on this room, so it's okay-ish. And um, yeah, wear something comfortable. Um, don't feel like you have to wear yoga stuff. You could be in your pajamas, for example. And then we'll just make a start. All right, so we're going to start down in a little child's pose. Lovely, lovely position. So I would recommend seeing how it feels with the knees, okay? We can get a lot of lower back pain when we're on our periods because of all the, the cramping and that movement in the womb to try and shed that lining. So just notice how it feels for you, okay? You might want to have your knees together, you might want to have them really far apart, and it might feel good as well to get a blanket and just prop it on top of your legs, just for a little bit of cushioning, or maybe even a cushion. All right. Make sure the toes are untucked and then just slowly start to lower your forehead down onto your mat. And then just take a few breaths here. We're going to start with a little bit of breath work. So wherever you feel any tension with your body right now, and even if it's not down by the ovaries and the womb area, then maybe you're, like, you're fine and you don't have any cramping, maybe there's somewhere else that you feel some tension. What I would like you to do as you inhale, you breathe that inhalation all the way into that space that you feel is tight. You imagine that oxygen just nourishing that area when you're inhaling. And then as you exhale, breathing out through the mouth, just imagine that those exhales are taking all of that stagnation, that stiffness, that tightness, that soreness out into the air around you. Okay, so as you inhale, you breathe that air and you imagine it traveling down into that area of your body that feels tight, feels a little sore. That oxygen nourishes that area and then as you exhale, it just takes out all that balance with it out into the air. 
And we'll do this for a couple of breaths. So take a nice deep inhale through the nose. And then just gently allowing your breath to fall out through your mouth. Good, a couple more. Alright, stay as you are in your child's pose. I just want you now to start to tune in to your emotional body. Okay? So just start to identify with that feeling, that overarching emotion that you're sitting with today. Whether it's good, whether it's not so good, try to approach it with an idea of objectivity. Okay? Like it's not your body or your mind that you're looking at. Okay? It's somebody else's. And just see if you can allow that feeling to sit with you. Even if it doesn't feel so great, just let it sit there, let it settle for a few moments. Understand that your emotions are exactly the same as physical manifestations. So when you injure yourself, that is just your body's response to something external. And it's exactly the same with your emotions they are a response to something external, okay? And that could be something that happened today or yesterday and just the way that you reacted to it creates this emotion in your body. So just try to look at it from that very neutral point of view. Just a couple more lovely deep breaths here. slowly just start to lift your head, lift your chest, walk your hands back. We're going to move into a tabletop position. So if you had a blanket or a cushion in between your thighs and your calves, just remove it and start to move yourself into your cat cow. And then we'll work with the breath here, okay? So start to close the eyes down if you feel comfortable doing so, just, just so that we can draw our awareness inwards. Before we go anywhere, take a nice big inhale through the nose. Open the mouth, exhale. <sighs> Lovely, and then start to move through your cat cow. So as you inhale, tailbone lift, stomach drops, draw those shoulders back. As you exhale, tuck tailbone under, press those shoulders all the way up, draw that chin in towards the chest. Inhale, start to draw that chest forward, tailbone lift, stomach drops. Exhale, start to tuck everything away. And then just continue to move through these postures with your own breath. And only take these back bends, they're both back bends, as far as you require, okay? So if it feels very tender in that lower back because you have a lot of menstrual pain, then maybe just don't move as much or maybe make the upper back bend a little bit more pronounced, okay? Work with your body, not against it. Lovely, just a couple more breaths here. Maybe stay with your cat cows now, or if you would like to, just start freestyling it a little bit, moving off piece, just kind of moving into your own body. And as I always like to say in my regular classes here in London, I just want you to start taking a little bit of ownership of your practice, okay? Remembering that it's your body, your movement, your experience, okay? So just do what feels best for your body. Maybe that feels cat cows. Maybe that means cat cows. Maybe it means, I don't know, some stuff with neck, whatever feels good. Lovely. Great. Alright. We're going to just come up into a downward facing dog now. So just taking it nice and easy, lifting those heels nice and high. This is pretty much going to be the most extreme posture we're going to do today. <laughs> Some people would argue that we shouldn't be going upside down during our periods, but I don't know. I disagree. <laughs> Maybe start to take some pedals through your heel, drawing one heel down, bending the opposite knee. Oh yeah, my hamstrings are feeling super tight. 
still just using this opportunity to kind of tune into those areas of soreness in your body. Good, take a couple more breaths here, just having a little bit of a wiggle. Lovely. All right, start to lift towards your hands now. Lift those heels nice and high, and then just really carefully tiptoe your feet up in between your hands, and then just take yourself into a forward fold. And I recommend having the feet actually about hip width distance here. Make sure you have a nice bend, just so that we can encourage the main stretch of this posture to be into the lower back. Okay, so it's, it is a little bit in the hamstrings, but actually it's mostly just allowing that lower back to lengthen, create space, and just allow hopefully any soreness to gently start to dissipate. Feel free to take hold of opposite elbows here. Maybe take a little bit of a rock from side to side. And then just keep that head nice and heavy and just remain here for a few breaths. Remember as much of a bend in those knees as you need. If you want to take a bit of a swing with the head from side to side, go for it. Maybe backwards and forwards. Be my guest. Lovely. Alright. And then from here, just slowly start to bring your way down to seated in whichever way feels best. Lovely. All right. We're going to come into a Baddha bound angle pose now. So we'll bring the feet together and just to begin with, allow them to come close to your groin. Okay? So they could be all the way up here or they could be a little bit further forward. Okay? It doesn't really matter. And then bring your thumbs to the inside of the sole of your feet, soles of your feet, and just start to open your feet up like a reading book. A really grubby book, if you like my feet. Um, that's what happens when you're a yogi and you walk around wearing no shoes. All right, and then take an inhale, we're gonna lengthen the spine, so really just allow the crown of the head to lift, and as you exhale, just gently pull yourself forwards, okay? So this is nothing too strong, this is very subtle, it should feel like you're getting a nice stretch, but not the, you know those stretches that are like almost painful? We don't want that, okay? We want to keep your heart rate down, we want to keep it nice and soft and comfortable, okay? And then just work with the breath, close the eyes down if you feel like you need to, inhale to lift the chest, exhale, maybe you can just fold a little deeper, but with every inhale, I just want you to come back to this idea of finding length through that spine, and exhale, we soften just a little bit. And then just allows us to get down into those hips, into those hip flexors. If you want to, you could put on, I don't know, burn some incense, some nice smellies, maybe some nice music as well in the background. Come back to that emotion that you felt just a few moments ago. And just allow yourself to not judge yourself for feeling however you feel. Just understand that our body works in a very specific way to enable us to have periods so that we can have children. And you know that specific way does cause fluctuations in our hormones which can have an effect on how we feel. It's very easy to kind of beat yourself up if you don't want to do a high intensity workout when you're in your period, but actually your body's not really equipped to do that kind of workout. It's a much higher stress on it when you're on your period. All right, slowly just start to lift the head, walk those hands back a little, take a nice big inhale, let's lift the arms all the way up. Exhale, start to bring those hands down through heart center. Lovely, open the eyes just for a moment. All right, we're just going to shoot those feet a little bit further forwards now. So we move the intensity away from the hip flexors and more into the hamstrings. And I want you to kind of like pad yourself up a little bit here. So if you have those cushions, or you have that bolster, I want you to pad yourself so that we're going to fold forwards here. When you fold forwards, you have support. So 
it might make up your bricks. You can just bring your forehead down onto those bricks or onto your pillows. So allow your hands to fall wherever feels natural. And actually, it could feel good to bring one cheek down, maybe the other. We will swap. So if you have one cheek down, I'll let you know when we're about halfway through, and then we'll swap over. Okay, so just really allow yourself to relax down into this posture. And just really let go. Okay, not only letting go of your physical body, but letting go of those expectations that we have of ourselves. Expectations as career women, expectations as mothers, as wives, as girlfriends, as friends, as daughters. So many expectations on women. I'm just asking you to give yourself a bit of a break. Stop being so hard on yourself, especially this time of the month. Everything seems much more difficult, okay? Just accept that. Accept that that is how your body is. So try not to work against your body, but work with it. And by doing this video, you're totally working with it. So just be proud of that and cut yourself a little bit of slack. Alright, if you've got one cheek down, just start to gently lift the head and we'll move over onto the other cheek just so that we can make sure our bodies are feeling nice and even. Make sure that breath is still coming in nice and deep, okay? So you don't want to kind of lose the breath entirely. No, we're not going as far as having that Ujjayi breath. When we practice our vinyasa flows, but the breath is still there still conscious. I had a yoga teacher once who said the breath is the path inwards to yourself and I love that. I feel like it's so true, it's so valid. Just by focusing on that breath we can really just allow ourselves to fall deeper into ourselves and that's so powerful. Okay lovely, it's just a few more breaths here. And when you're ready, let's just start to lift the head, slowly bring yourself all the way back up. Perfect. Alright, just remove your props if you use any. Lovely. Alright, so we are going to keep the left foot in and then we're going to extend the right leg out to the side okay so draw that left foot into the inline of that right leg almost like tree legs and I want you to push away with this right heel so those right toes are drawing back in towards you and then with this right arm either just take it down on top of that right leg if that already feels enough or if you would like to you can release it down to the inside of that right leg and if that feels too much you can use your cushion and just rest your hand there, okay? So you can have like a little bit more height if you need it. Lovely, start to take that left hand down next to your left hip, draw that left shoulder back, and slowly start to paint a little rainbow in the air with that left hand, and start to reach over towards that right foot, okay? And if you're super stretchy through the side body, then maybe you can take hold of that foot with your left hand. But don't aim for that, okay? I want you to keep this shoulder open. Start to allow your head to get nice and heavy. And if you want to, you can just have a go at drawing your chin down towards your chest. And just notice in that neck, in your neck, where you feel like you need a little bit of a stretch maybe, if you feel like you need one. Working with the breath, so every inhale, find a little bit of length through the side body. Exhale, see if you can reach just a little further. Couple more breaths here. Slowly just start to rise all the way up. Ah. Oh, my neck 
like so so. Lovely. All right. From here, start to just shift yourself so you're facing over that right foot. Sit yourself up nice and tall. If you feel like you're kind of hunching down into your back, feel free to sit on a cushion, a brick, a rolled up blanket, whatever you feel like gives you a little bit of height. Inhale to lift both arms. Exhale, slowly start to fold over that right leg and just take your hands down to whatever falls, okay? So maybe it's the calf, it's the ankle, maybe it is the foot. If you feel like you're really far away, if you have a strap or you have even a dressing gown with like a dressing gown cord or a belt, you can just wrap it around that foot and allow yourself to come forward. If you feel like you can just fold here and relax, then go for it, all right? But just work with that breath again. So we inhale to find length in the spine. Exhale, we fold. Good, inhale, find some length. Exhale, fold. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to fold. And then just relax that head. Two more rounds of breath here. And then just slowly start to bring yourself all the way back up. Lovely, draw both knees up into your chest. Give yourself a nice little hug. Great, all right. And then we'll move on to the other side. So we'll take that left leg out, draw that right foot into the inline, that left leg remember left heel you push it away your left toes draw back in towards you and then either with this left arm you come to rest it on top of that left leg down the inside or if you wanted to bring some cushions and just place it down the inside there then go for it bring right hand down next to that right hip paint that rainbow up into the sky and then just start to reach over towards that left foot and then work with your breath so as you inhale Reach towards that left foot, exhale, soften, relax the neck. If you want to bring your chin down in towards your chest, and just have a go at finding that prominent point in your stretch here, where you feel like, I don't know, you need to make space in that neck, then go for it. And then just work with the breath. Great, just one more nice big inhale, exhale, and then slowly start to rise all the way up. Great, all right, we're gonna take that down over that leg now. So just shift your weight so you're facing over that extended left foot. Remember, sit yourself up on something if you'd like a little bit more height. Inhale, we lift the arms. Exhale, start to fall down over that leg. Take hands to wherever they fall, maybe calf, maybe ankle, maybe foot. Use a strap if you would like to, and then work with that breath. So inhale, find length. Exhale to fold. Lovely. Inhale, we find that length. Exhale, we fold. And then just work with the breath here. The reason that we're working with the breath is because I know that a lot of people tend to get very anxious around their periods. I feel like it makes people very anxious. I know a friend of mine who gets very anxious around her period. And I think there are several reasons. It's not just the hormonal changes, but it's also the fact that like, we're kind of made to feel embarrassed about our periods, right? Um, like how embarrassing would you feel if you had a, like, a leakage situation? Like it's really quite scary to be on your period, to be honest. Um, and I just think that like all those things just build up and then everything else seems worse because of the hormonal changes and we're never really taught like how to work with our periods, okay, we're kind of told that they're bad and that we wish that we didn't have them and everyone takes the pill packs back to back to avoid them and, you know, our bodies create this amazing system for us to be able to reproduce humans like it's fantastic so we need to we need to embrace them all right when you're ready slowly just start to bring yourself back up okay knee knee done just a couple more postures and then we'll have a short shasana so we're going to move 
into a supportive bridge and you have several options for what you can do here. I'm going to do the brick just because I like that, but you don't have to, you could use a cushion, bolster, rolled up blanket. And we're going to move into a bridge pose. So feet are hip width distance apart, excuse me. And then you start to lie yourself down onto your mat and your brick slash cushion or whatever it is you're using is going to just come to settle underneath your um, sacrum. I forgot what the word was there. Or what? Period brain. Um, maybe not, maybe just normal brain. So it just comes to settle under your sacrum. So on that flat bit of bone that's in between your pelvis, and this should feel comfortable. If it feels like it's pinching or it's too much, then take it down a level, move on to a cushion, move on to something else, okay? And this may feel like a very strong back bend, especially if you're having a lot of like period pain and cramps. So just take it as far as you need to remember. Ownership of your own body, ownership of your own practice, all right? And then just allow those arms to lengthen down by the sides. We're going to move through a pranayama, so a breathing exercise, because when we use the breath and when we really focus on it, it can make such a difference to how we're feeling. So okay, we're going to work for about 10 cycles of breath. Now just, what we'll be doing is as you inhale, you lift your arms all the way up, take them back down behind you. So just make sure you have enough space to lengthen your arms behind you. Pause the top for a couple of seconds, so close off that inhale. And then exhale, we lower the hands all the way down. Pause for a few seconds, close off the exhale. Inhale, lift the arms all the way up. Pause. Exhale to come down. Lovely, close the eyes down if you'd like to. And then just work with your breath. more rounds. And final exhale. Lovely, just start to lift your hips ever so slightly, move that brick, start to roll yourself all the way down. Good. Draw those knees up in towards the chest, wrap arms around the shins, start to take a little bit of a rock from side to side. If you would like to stay here for a couple of breaths, then you can. If you feel like you're ready for a happy baby, soles of feet reach up towards the ceiling, Taking hold of the outside of the feet or just behind the thighs if that feels better. And then just start to rock yourself from side to side. And it can actually be really good. It's like a little spine massage, lower back massage down on the mat. Lovely. And then we're going to come to settle for our Shavasana. So you have lots of options. I just like to be pretty bad with my Shavasana and just lengthen out arms by the sides. But if you want to bring maybe a bolster under your back, cushion under your head, then whatever. All I ask is that you lie down onto your back, unless of course that is a real big issue for you. Relax arms down by your sides, palms facing up. Just let those feet be nice and choppy and close the eyes down. And just take a few moments to come back now into your emotional state. So just check in, tune in to how you are feeling within yourself. And if you're feeling the same as you were before, that's absolutely fine. That's perfect. If you feel like your energy has shifted ever so slightly, you're feeling different in either a good way or a, or a negative way, 
that's also perfect, okay? So just embrace exactly as you are right now, understanding that your body just does all that it can every single second of every day to look after you, okay? And keep you safe and happy and warm. I know that we find our periods super inconvenient, but just look at it as a function within this incredible organism that is your body and just be super grateful that you know you are alive you have these opportunities and that your body is a miracle because it is and then just start to give yourself a few moments of rest